The Pentagon just made a shocking move. They're spending billions on a fighter jet that first flew in the 1970s. While China and Russia race to build invisible warplanes, America is buying more of an aircraft your grandfather might have seen take off. The F-15EX carries zero stealth technology. It lights up enemy radar like a Christmas tree. Yet the Air Force can't build them fast enough. Top generals are calling it a game changer. Defense experts say it could defeat Russia's Su-57 and China's J-20 in actual combat. And here's the kicker. It might just save American air dominance for the next three decades. This isn't about nostalgia or budget cuts. This is about a fundamental shift in how America fights wars in the sky. The F-15EX represents something the defense industry didn't see coming. Proof that newer doesn't always mean better. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why this 50-year-old design is exactly what our military needs right now. Welcome to Jet Insight. The story of the F-15EX Eagle II is one of the most fascinating developments in modern military aviation. While everyone's been watching stealth fighters grab headlines, the Air Force quietly made a decision that's reshaping America's fighter fleet. This isn't just another aircraft purchase. It's a strategic chess move that tells us everything about the future of air combat. And it starts with understanding what's really happening with our aging fighter fleet. If you agree that smart strategy beats flashy technology every time, type PROUD in the comments below. The crisis nobody saw coming. Let's talk about the problem the Air Force faced. By 2020, they had a ticking time bomb in their hangars. Over 200 F-15C and D models were literally falling apart. These weren't just old aircraft, they were ancient by military standards. Some had been flying combat missions since the Reagan administration. Structural cracks were appearing in critical areas. Maintenance costs were skyrocketing. Pilots were flying aircraft that should have been retired a decade earlier. But here's where it gets interesting. The Air Force couldn't just ground these jets. They had a job that nobody else could do. Defending American airspace 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Every single day. F-15s scramble to intercept Russian bombers testing our air defenses near Alaska. They chase down unidentified aircraft along our coast. They stand ready to protect our cities from any aerial threat. The obvious solution seems simple. Buy more F-35 stealth fighters, right? Wrong. The F-35, brilliant as it is, costs about $36,000 per flight hour to operate. When you're flying constant patrols over the continental United States, those costs add up faster than you can imagine. Plus, the F-35 wasn't designed for this mission. It's built to sneak deep into enemy territory, not to patrol American skies carrying the maximum amount of firepower. Then someone asked a different question. What if we didn't need invisible? What if we needed something else entirely? Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. The beast they built. Enter the F-15 EX Eagle II. This aircraft is essentially a brand new fighter wrapped in a proven 50-year-old design. Boeing took everything they learned from selling advanced F-15s to countries like Saudi Arabia and Qatar, then supercharged it for American needs. The result? An aircraft that shares only its basic shape with the original F-15. The numbers are staggering. The F-15EX can carry 29,500 pounds of weapons. That's more than five times what an F-35 can haul. Imagine 12 air-to-air -air missiles hanging off this beast, or a mix of bombs and missiles that would make any adversary think twice. It can sprint to Mach 2.5. That's over 1,900 miles per hour. At that speed, you could fly from New York to Los Angeles in about 90 minutes. But speed and weapons aren't the whole story. The F-15EX features a completely digital cockpit with systems so advanced they make the F-35's technology look dated. It has an ASA radar that can track dozens of targets simultaneously at ranges that would shock most people. The EPOWSS Electronic Warfare System, that's the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, gives it defensive capabilities that rival anything flying today. Here's something that'll surprise you. Boeing designed this aircraft with a 20,000-hour airframe life. That means an F-15EX purchase today could still be flying combat missions in 2055. Your grandchildren might be watching these same aircraft defend American skies. 
and because it shares 70% of its parts with existing F-15s, the entire support infrastructure was already in place. Maintenance crews didn't need years of retraining. Spare parts were already in the supply chain. Bases already had the hangars and facilities. The Air Force could order these jets today and have them flying combat patrols next month. Try doing that with a brand new stealth design. The stealth mythe nobody talks about. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Why would America buy a non-stealth fighter in 2024? Doesn't stealth win modern wars? The answer is more complicated than most people realize. Stealth is incredible for specific missions. When you need to kick down the door on day one of a war, sneak past enemy defenses, and take out their most protected targets, that's when you send in the F-22 and F-35. But here's what the defense establishment figured out. Most of what the Air Force does doesn't require stealth at all. Think about it this way. When Russian bombers approach Alaska, we don't need an invisible fighter to intercept them. We need something fast, heavily armed, and ready to go right now. When we're enforcing a no-fly zone over a region with limited air defenses, stealth just adds expense without adding value. When we need a fighter that can carry huge weapons like hypersonic missiles, weapons too big to fit inside a stealth aircraft's internal bay, the F-15EX becomes the only option. The Pentagon ran the numbers and realized something stunning. In a major conflict with China, even with hundreds of F-35s and our fleet of F-22s, we wouldn't have enough aircraft to deliver enough firepower. We'd need what military planners call a missile truck, something that can haul massive amounts of ordnance and launch it from standoff range while the stealth fighters do their thing up front. But here's where it gets really clever. The F-15EX isn't just non-stealthy, it's confidently non-stealthy. The Air Force isn't trying to pretend it's invisible. Instead, they're using its radar signature as an asset. The F-15EX can fly out in the open, drawing enemy attention and radar locks, while F-35s sneak around behind them. It's like using the linebacker to draw the defense while your receivers slip open. And about survivability, the Pentagon proved something shocking in 2024. During extensive testing at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, F-15EXs went head-to-head -head against simulated fifth-generation threats, including aircraft mimicking Russia's Su-57 and China's J-20. The results? The F-15EX won. Its advanced radar spotted threats first. Its electronic warfare system confused and jammed enemy sensors. Its superior speed and maneuverability, combined with long-range missiles, meant it could shoot first and from farther away. The money that actually makes sense. Let's talk dollars and cents because this is where the F-15DX story gets even better. The flyaway cost, that's the price for one aircraft ready to go, sits around $80 million. Now that might sound like a lot until you compare it to alternatives. An F-35A costs roughly the same to buy, maybe slightly more, depending on the production lot. But remember that $36,000 per flight hour we mentioned? The F-15EX costs a fraction of that to operate. Over the 30-year lifespan of these aircraft, the savings add up to hundreds of millions of dollars per squadron. For a fighter fleet of 98 aircraft, the current plan, we're talking billions in operational savings. But the real genius shows up in the timeline. Boeing had an active production line already building advanced F-15s for international customers. The company didn't need to design a whole new aircraft from scratch. They didn't need to build new factories or develop entirely new manufacturing processes. They took what was working, added American requirements, and started cranking out jets. The first F-15EX flew in February 2021. By July 2024, just three and a half years later, the aircraft entered operational service with the Air Guard in Oregon. Compare that to the F-35 program, which took over two decades from first flight to full combat capability. Or the F-22, which took nearly 15 years. The F-15EX achieved in three years what typically takes a decade or more. And here's something that should make every taxpayer smile. Because the F-15EX uses so many existing parts and systems, there's no development hell eating up budgets. You know those stories about defense programs running billions over budget and years behind schedule. The F-15EX avoided all of that. It came in on time and on budget, almost unheard of in modern defense procurement. The missions nobody else can fly. The F-15EX does things no other American fighter can match, 
Take hypersonic missiles, for example. The Air Force is developing the Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile, or HACM, expected to enter service around 2027. This weapon is huge, too large to fit inside any stealth fighter's weapons bay. The F-15EX will be the first American fighter certified to carry it. When that happens, we'll have fighters capable of launching missiles that fly at seven times the speed of sound across distances of over 1,000 miles. Try stopping that. The aircraft's second seat, yes, it has room for two crew members, opens up entirely new possibilities. In basic air superiority missions, one pilot can handle everything. But when you need someone managing sensors, coordinating with other aircraft, controlling drones, and handling weapon systems all at once, that second seat becomes invaluable. The Air Force is already planning to use F-15EXs as controllers for autonomous drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft. Imagine one F-15EX directing a squadron of unmanned fighters, multiplying American combat power without risking additional pilots. Boeing and the Air Force are even exploring turning some F-15EX into electronic warfare platforms. The EA-18G Growler, the Navy's jamming aircraft based on the Super Hornet, stops production in 2027. The Air Force needs something to replace that capability. The F-15EX, with its massive power generation and payload capacity, could mount the same jamming pods and become an airborne electronic warfare fortress. It would jam enemy radars, disrupt their communications, and create corridors of safety for other American aircraft, all while carrying enough missiles to defend itself from any threat. Think about this combination. Speed to get where needed fast. Range to operate across vast distances without constant refueling. Payload to carry whatever weapon the mission requires. Sensors to see everything around it. Electronic warfare gear to survive and disrupt. And 30 plus years of service life ahead. No other fighter on Earth combines all these capabilities in one package. The global reaction. America isn't the only country that sees the F-15X's value. Israel just increased its order to 50 aircraft. Their version is called the F-15IA. The Israelis know a thing or two about air combat, and they're betting heavily on this platform. Indonesia is negotiating for 36 jets. Saudi Arabia wants 54 more on top of their existing advanced F-15. Fleet. Egypt is in talks for up to 46 aircraft. Why is everyone suddenly interested in a non-stealthy fighter? Because they're all looking at the same math. They need aircraft that can fly today, carry serious firepower, and stay relevant for decades. They're watching what the U.S. Air Force proved in testing. They're seeing an aircraft that costs less to buy, less to fly, and can be delivered quickly. For our veterans and military enthusiasts following this story, there's a growing community sharing insights about these developments. Real professionals who understand what this aircraft means for America's defense posture in the years ahead. China and Russia are paying attention too. They've spent billions developing stealth fighters. Now they're watching America roll out an aircraft that their latest technology supposedly made obsolete, except it's beating their best in simulated combat. That's got to be keeping some military planners in Beijing and Moscow awake at night. The future in the sky. Right now, F-15EXs are flying combat patrols over the United States. They're replacing the old F-15Cs that served so faithfully for decades. In 2025, the last F-15Cs left Kadena Air Base in Japan, one of America's most critical forward operating locations in the Pacific. F-15EX are taking their place, sending a clear message to China about America's commitment to defending our allies and interests in the region. The Air Force plans to eventually field around 98 to 104 of these aircraft. They'll serve alongside F-35s and the remaining F-22s, forming a layered defense that plays to each aircraft's strengths. The F-22s and F-35s will handle the high-end stealth missions. The F-15EXs will bring the muscle, the endurance, and the flexibility to handle everything else. And there's something else. With the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, America's sixth generation fighter, currently on hold while the Air Force figures out exactly what it needs, the F-15EX becomes even more important. It's the bridge that keeps American air superiority intact while we develop whatever comes next. It buys time without compromising capability. The first F-15EX will still be flying when your grandchildren are in college. By then, we might have fighters that can travel at hypersonic speeds or operate in space. 
but the F-15EX will still be there, doing the hard daily work of defending American airspace and projecting power wherever our nation needs it. Conclusion The F-15EX proves something important. In a world obsessed with the newest and flashiest technology, sometimes the smartest move is perfecting what already works. The Air Force looked at what they needed, not what looked impressive in press releases, and made a choice that prioritizes capability over hype. They chose an aircraft that can fight today, tomorrow, and for the next three decades. This is American military innovation at its finest, taking a proven winner, supercharging it with cutting-edge technology, and delivering it on time and on budget. The men and women who fly and maintain these aircraft will have a tool worthy of their skill and dedication. Our adversaries will face an opponent they can see coming, but can't stop. And Americans can rest easier, knowing that overhead, day and night, the eagle still soars. If this story changed how you think about modern air power, hit that like button and subscribe to Jet Insight. We'll keep bringing you the stories that matter about the forces that keep us safe. Until next time, stay proud of those who serve.